In an unprecedented move for a major professional sports league, the NFL has proposed partnering with its players to effect social justice change, though not all players are in agreement on the proposal. On Monday, the league submitted to players the final draft of a proposal that, according to documents reviewed by ESPN, would contribute nearly $100 million to causes considered important to African American communities. The NFL hopes this effort will effectively end the peaceful yet controversial movement that former San Francisco 49 ERS quarterback Colin Kaepernick started when he refused to stand for the national anthem last season. Players are expected to discuss the offer during a scheduled conference call, Wednesday night. However, some players who have actively protested since 2016 are displeased with the NFL's approach and plan to break from the players' coalition, a group of roughly 40 players who negotiated with the league office, over how its leaders have handled negotiations. Philadelphia Eagles safety? Malcolm Jenkins, and former NFL wide receiver? Ankin Bolden, are, regarded as the leaders of the coalition. Miami Dolphins safety Michael Thomas and 49 ERS safety Eric Reed tweeted Wednesday that they are withdrawing. The Players Coalition was supposed to be formed as a group that represents NFL athletes who have been silently protesting social injustices and racism, Thomas and Reed said via Twitter. However, Malcolm and Ankin can no longer speak on our behalf as we don't believe the coalition's beliefs are in our best interests as a whole. Dolphins receiver Kenny Stills said he has a ton of respect for Jenkins and Bolden. But according to Stills, there has been lack of communication within the group, as the NFL primarily communicated with the players' coalition through Jenkins and Bolden. We were trying to work together and bring all the players together to work together. It just hasn't been going that way, Stills explained. We don't feel like everyone was getting the same voice. That's Malcolm and Ankin's thing, and it was always their thing. Respectfully, we're going to let them go on with what they're doing. We're just saying that we're not going to have them speak for us. Regardless, the NFL has made its pitch, and although there is no quid pro quo, the hope is that the league's commitment will create an environment in which players will no longer want to protest. The NFL's multifaceted offer earmarks at least $89 million over a seven-year period for both national and local projects, according to the documents. On the national level, owners this year would allocate $5 million, with their commitment growing annually and maxing out at $12 million per year from 2021 through 2023. At the local level, Owners would put up to $150,000 annually and expect players to match that amount, totaling $500,000 for each team. Players and owners can exceed that amount if they choose, with no matching requirement. In addition, there would be other fundraising opportunities, including telethons and auctions of jerseys worn in games. Reed told ESPN that Jenkins had conversations with the NFL without him or Michael Thomas being involved.